I think so far I did a bigger result that I never expected. When I was a young kid, I never dreamed about winning Grand Slam because for me it was way too far. It was for some special player, not for me. For me, my dream was to be a professional tennis player, uh, to live by my passion. I did achieve way more and I'm super happy with it and hopefully I can still achieve some, some big results. It always starts from zero. That's the beauty of tennis. When because even if you lose first one, the next week you have another chance to win, and that's the what's the most difficult too. Because when you win a tournament, you have to start from zero. Winning is addictive. Like when you when you practice so hard, when you try to get something, winning a match, winning a tournament, it's something that's a feeling that you want to have it week after week. Uh, so you want to get back on playing tournament for that. Stan Wawrinka is in the U.S. Open final. I was getting older. This is probably my last final of Grand Slam and this is US Open. If I won Australian Open and French Open, I don't want to lose US Open because that can make it three and three different ones. So I always love to put a lot of pressure on myself. Sometimes it was good in my career, sometimes it was bad. So I was, I was feeling nervous. I was, I was tired already at that moment because mentally tired because it was a, it was a tough two weeks. It was tough condition, really humid for, for everybody, but tough, really humid, really hot. I had some tough match against Nishikori, Del Potro. Like, uh, I knew I was mentally tired already. So if you put everything together, that's, 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 uh, that doesn't help for, for feeling good before final. But I, had, uh, I remember before the final, I, had, uh, I was in the locker like, 10, 10, 15 minutes, not even before going on court. And I had like a little crisis of nerves. Like I start to cry, like I was really like stressed and nervous and I had to talk with my coach and I wasn't feeling good. I was like, I wanted to go throw up in the bathroom. I was crying, I was, I was so stressed that I couldn't really, like I said, control my emotion. I was getting old already. I thought at that moment, I thought I was okay. I'm close for my end of my career, so I cannot miss this opportunity. I was put, doing a lot of pressure on myself to, 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 to not miss it. To playing a final, you have to win this final. You don't want to lose. You go, you win. You, so, yeah, it was uh, was a tough moment. Uh, I had a big talk with Magnus at that time, who, who helped me to put it back together and. When you young also, and when you are an athlete, and people from outside, they always think like, "Oh, it's not good to be nervous. Oh, don't be nervous. Oh, don't don't be nervous. So oh, it's not good. It's not good. No, it's part of an athlete. And nervous, it's it's good to be nervous. You have to accept it. The first phase is to accept it, and then you have to deal with it. You cannot just tell yourself, "Oh, I'm not nervous. It's going to be okay." So it was more a talk about that. That not forgot that. Yeah, it is normal to not feel great, it is normal to feel stressed, it is normal to have th those feelings, but don't forget why you're here and how did you arrive here. It's because you've been playing well, it was a great, great tournament so far, so you're going to do what you always do, is you go on the court and you fight every point and then you see. I had a tough start. It was not easy. I wasn't playing. Uh, wasn't playing well. I was not moving well. I was nervous. My my arm was not going the way I wanted. But finally, I found a way to to change the match and to start to push myself, to start to enjoy, to start to push it physically and mentally, make it tough. And that's that's what I did when I think I was losing 4-1 or 5-2 or something like that. I, I was still thinking too much about all those emotions and I know I have a way like to start to be more into the match, I have to get tired, physically tired. So I start to try to make longer rally to, to be 
a bit physically tired because when you're physically tired you your brain doesn't think the same it doesn't have time to think about all the bullshit that you can think outside the tennis so that's the way i i came back to the match what a response that was so game from star Varenka. i think the level after was was great i was feeling again on the match i was thinking and seeing the balls ball quite quite good and moving well and I, I did enjoy a lot all the end of the match. Stan Wawrinka wins his third Grand Slam and the 2016 US Open. ask myself that question if maybe it's time to stop but uh, I got quickly the answer of I still love playing tennis I can play uh, at a good level and and the most important one is I didn't want to finish my career by being injured so I wanted to at least try to come back and even if I see, see that I cannot play good tennis maybe I can play a few tournaments to say goodbye I'm pushing myself to find the way out to be at my top again. Uh, it's difficult to achieve and to have a goal for Wimbledon now because first with my ranking I can play against Novak first one, I can play against anybody first one, so that changed a lot. As I say, like you can practice as much as you want. If you play Novak, you have no guarantee to beat him. So again, for me it's about building the next few, few months to get at the top of of the form I can have right now and then I will have some goal. Of course I have ideas of what I want. I want to, to of course next year to be back in in the ranking. I want to, to win my, my my goal before the end of the, the career is to win trophy again. That's for sure. Doesn't matter which level I'm not talking about Grand Slam, I'm talking also about ATP 250, 500,000, doesn't matter. But uh, for that I need to feel I can achieve that and right now I cannot. I don't have the level to achieve and to win the title right now. So that's why I'm doing always step by step. There's things I'm dreaming, there's still a thing, things I want to achieve next year and I believe I will be able to achieve, but I don't feel uh, ready yet. So I want to focus on what I'm going to do to be ready to feel that. I am pretty sure I'm building my last chapter now. I'm 37 years old, I cannot play forever. I think I have two, three more years maximum and I want to enjoy them and I want to push myself maximum to give myself chance to win trophies or be at a higher level 